previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It'd be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the redstone heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this going to do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the redstone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys, not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. What are you hiding from us now, Harper? Nothing. Nothing. Well, almost nothing. Just the others might not be 100% happy to see me. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of? The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? I'm sure we can figure something out, make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? pricey oh, thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> Yeah. 
seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper dump us into? Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there, it seems like they're aiming for us. Hang on, I just realized what this reminds me of. It's bleed. Is it in tight? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like this! Me drop something. Looks like the green team captain is about to deliver a welcome back to our newcomer. Jesse, 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 which one? Please, Jesse. Jesse. I'll help Petra. Get Ivor quick. Nice one, Jesse. That was close. Uh, uh, Ow! <gasps> <gasps> Lucas! Jesse, I... No, 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 no! What? It can't be. Whoa, no way, dude. I got a double. <laughs> no! <clears throat> hey, 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 whoa! This is a misunderstanding, dude. What are you doing? Hey! Using weapons is against the rules! Rules? Not cool, dude. So not cool. Ah! Oh! Slap is down. I repeat, slap is down. Stop the match! Not since the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I and think... now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so are you all crazy, mind-controlled, what? Whoa, hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match, ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation, immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? My friends are dead! You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez, how petty are you? Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gatecrasher. And...
And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mob. off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard, because see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now, which would be highly entertaining. Squash! I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still in the games. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. We don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. What about this? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <coughs> Harper, huh? Nuh uh, Hadrian, you're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works you give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay, okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, edition. Oh, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. Harper, how bad is this gonna be? Give it to me straight. It's not gonna be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over. 
travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games, but it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines, which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well, then we're just going to have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. we got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Aha, uh -huh. there's our nether portal. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat. Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat's air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. With your face. Please. Pretty please let them go. Mm. Face meat knows not to let prisoners out. Oh, but giant eyes. Oh. Well, there is something you can do. Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat will think about getting your friends out. Hmm. Some sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh, smells like it, too. from Spleef. You were like amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it, um, well, it wasn't very chill. Speaking of my friends, have you seen them lately? Nope, sorry. They're like probably in the mines, and that's on me. <laughs> Such bad karma. Bad karma. Ugh. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could. People could, like, already be talking. They're gonna, like, say stuff. Compare you to Tim. That's right. I'm gonna win the games, too. No doubt. No doubt. 
Okay, don't like tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is like, pfft, she is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean, seriously, I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard. Face me. And he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Wow, hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Everybody loves Tim around here. Uh, yeah, and justifiably so. He literally saved his entire team, and in style. His armor didn't even get dirty. He's a real Tim-spiration. Yeah, it's true. He could do the Tim-possible. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I'd gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Have you ever won the games? Yeah, I won, but I decided to give up the prize of going home to stay in this awesome place longer. Of course I haven't won. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Be enough for a table. Aha! 
That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. really want to win this thing. Hey, Jesse. Finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just... Stinks that all this has to be part of it. I just hope we can get home soon. I'm a little creeped out by the people that run this place. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Um, hello? Hey, face me. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. Hey, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh, it responds! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh... You don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! Sorry. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh. Well, that's better than I thought. But if we lose, we'll be mining for quartz forever. Nope. That is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible. And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. 
you might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point, but you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. Yep, it's gonna be a good one. I can feel it. All right, I can get behind that kind of optimism. No idea what this event is, but I'm sure we'll kick butt. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Surprise locker room visit. Ah! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? The thing about me and my team, Hadrian, no matter the challenge, we always find a way. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes. Perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. M might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me, or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That 
That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's gonna involve a lot of punching and kicking and all around awesomeness. Let's play it safe. Hadrian might have something else planned. You got it, Jesse. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, which is pretty far for the record. See? I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors on your mark. Get set. Go! That's what you think. Huh? Out of the way, chumps! Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? fun part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's with us, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that. Right, Em? Em? <laughs> Fine, squishy. What? Jesse, got your back. Go! Go! Gotcha. Looks like you're all alone yeah, now. That's mad. Tired of you, Slab. I was just thinking the same thing about you. Okay. Oh. 
Maybe I can still win this thing. Dude, I am like so close. I could do this. Sorry, now I'm winning this thing. Yeah, don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All the stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, 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 please. You probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay, if they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No. Just Jesse. <sighs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec, I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse, I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I, I'm just a minor. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, 
We made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Oh, we're not that late. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, you are just super inconsiderate. You know that? Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. Well, sounds to me like you're just easily impressed. Oh yeah? Well, sounds to me like you don't have proper appreciation for quality architecture, doofus. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? Psst, hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Oops. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Tim's armor that now belongs to Jesse. So, ah! I see you found Tim's armor. Gotta say, Jesse, I'm surprised that you try and steal that armor. Considering everyone is calling you the new Tim. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a very Tim thing to do, does it? Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. You like sneaking up on people? Funny thing to say, coming from the person I caught snooping around my office. You can look closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. Love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Well, that doesn't sound like the deal we made. You trying to change our terms? Think of this as a shiny new deal. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Ax 
Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse. Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. We've been trying to find you guys this whole time. It's been nuts. You mean Petra and Lucas are still with you? That's such a relief. Yeah, Ivor too. Oh, yay. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Ruben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Adrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright, you know that? What? I told you, bro. Look, my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fan. Olivia. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? If you're this scared of me, I must have a better shot of winning than you're letting on. Or maybe I'm just tired of a little pipsqueak interfering with my games. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slab, be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, squishy. <laughs> up there. Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh my, oh my, oh my. I'd have never let you do this. I did it to save you guys. That's what this has all been about. But you'll be trapped, probably forever. And he'll have the redstone heart. Yeah, but at least I know you guys will be free. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? I don't. How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Well, he seems nice. He's the least interested in torturing people, at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good, there's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. 
You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. The old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah. Because if it weren't for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... No way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Yeah, no one really wins these games. <laughs> but we can beat the old builders. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Like they got us all on leashes. What, like you're just going to quit? Yeah. Quitting is like for a quitters, dude. I'll be sure to remember that. The next time I've got a gladiator aiming for my head with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but um, those gladiators are like super tough. <laughs> like max level scariness, okay? Boo. Oh, no, no, I mean totally OP. Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never- Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you. And I believe that we will be free. Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, you did hear it, right? Loud and clear. It just might not have been enough. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game! That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game! Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls! The walls! So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. 
No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please. This walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Maybe. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Of course. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Adrian, I can't help but notice Hey, that our <laughs> seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? Nah. Oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Nope, just dirt. Come on! Yep, just dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt! Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! This should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Okay, do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. I try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down. Thank you, you made the right decision. The well, you could say you really inspired me. Suit. Oh, well, that could, but don't. On? This isn't how it was supposed to go. What's going on? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Yeah, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them! 
They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that Jesse has decided that deals don't need to be kept and is trying to convince the gladiators to follow suit. Guess what? Deals off. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea... weird. Not going with them, Swab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of- Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm, even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. This wasn't the deal, Jesse. No, no! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners! <laughs> which, I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not! They all win! Uh, no! Mevia, Otto, with me! We're ending this! We had a deal! And you broke it, bucko! We had an agreement! You promised me! And to think we let you compete! Hadrian, I'm not stupid. I knew that you would never honor our deal. That's not the point here! This isn't up to you! We control the games! We decide their outcome! Mevia... Shut up, Otto! This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! So you admit the games are rigged, then? <laughs> Sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Maybe, yeah. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Otto! What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. I am 100% fine with that course of action. You want the Redstone Heart? You're going to have to pick it out of my inventory. Fine by me. The hard way is more fun anyway. Useless! Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Got to take what is mine. Yeah. I'll admit your quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian! No. <laughs> 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 Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skill, but you're still no we'll match. Let's see about that! I got this, Hadrian! <laughs> <laughs> Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you 
forgive me? <gasps> this game is no! And that's our game, sports fans. The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. <laughs> I... I lost. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Oh, I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome! Here, buddy. Wow! Take this! Thanks. Hey, Suspender! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Bad. Sweet. Payback yeah, time! Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing you. Now, Bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! Us. I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Come on! You never could have won on your own. Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Hadrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Splee! Got it! I knew it! You and your stupid deal! There's no time for that now, Mevia. We have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Guys! How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best. And you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on. Hang on! Jesse, you did it! 
Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I've come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. Ah! Ah! No! You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? And that's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home, anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. That's what I do. Exploring new worlds, helping people wherever I go. I was happy to help. Well, I'm very grateful. What you did won't be forgotten anytime soon. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Ah! Oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems... lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. Truth be told, not really sure what I'm gonna do with myself. Crown Mesa was the closest thing I've had to a home in a long time, and well... Clearly, they don't want me back. So now I'm kind of, well, without a home. Well, sounds like Otto's going to be fixing up the games and trying to make them, you know, fun again. Maybe you could help with that. Oh, that's a great idea. I actually really loved those games way back when. Could be a nice way to make up for the not-so-good things I've done. If my experience is any indication, you'll probably still be haunted by nightmares for a while. Waking terrors. Guilt sweats. Don't worry. It'll all pass soon. You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, alright? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing! So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? 
Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book, take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice. There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! That's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Crown of the Eversource the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, AKA the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Palma's redstone art. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh. I wonder what Sorin would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing, too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Eh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home.
very unfortunate and unexpected twist. It appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of zombies. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it. Wings, chicken wings, you know. You're fired, Mavia. You're fired. 